John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Maybe at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Doesn't matter anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, sure has. Yeah. Yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. That's it. Deacon, uh, Corp. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? 
You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, no, I I didn't mean nothing. I'm just just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit? Yeah, we'll show some respect. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I I didn't mean nothing. See you, Corporal St. John. St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after terror. Several patrols have already been sent out. Curry's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. Doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal. Colonel wants to go. Copy that. St. John out. Corporal St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me at command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered Stop that, huh? You know they picked the places that got here first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack.
need that. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver, I'm here. Uh, hey, call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out of it. Ah, look, I'm just following orders. Is that coming? Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit, risking your neck for me. <laughs> and dude, this napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim. Yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. Renegade Patrol. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> 
This is it. Which way? Gotcha.
Kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... The doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, you, Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them hate me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. <laughs> 